Find f prime of x if f of x equals the square root of 3x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus x minus 7. So this is a chain rule problem because we have a function of a function. We have the square root of a polynomial. And the chain rule, one way to think about it is dy dx is really dy du, du, dx. So what we want to try and do is identify the outer function and the inner function. And in this case, it's pretty easy to see that the polynomial is the inside function and this square root is the outer. In fact, if you want, it might help to rewrite this as 3x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus x minus 7 all to the one half power. Now you can see that this thing is inside and that one half power is the outside. And so the way you do chain rule is you take the derivative of the outside function first, leaving the inside alone, and then multiply it by the derivative of the inside. That's one way to think about it. Or you could think about it in terms of this rule right here, where you identify the inside function as u, and then take the derivative of the outside function, then multiply it by the derivative of u. If you were going to do that, then you would say that this is really u to the 1 half, where u is this polynomial right here. So let's take the derivative. So we have f prime of x equals. So first we want the derivative of the outside function, which if we're looking at it in terms of u, we just want to take the derivative of this thing. So the derivative of something to the 1 half power is going to be 1 half times that thing, which would be u. But what is u? u is that polynomial. So I'll write it out. 3x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus x minus 7. And then we subtract 1, so this is going to become negative 1 half. And now we have to take the derivative of u, du dx. And what was u? u is that polynomial. We're taking the derivative of the inside function. And we're going to multiply it. So this is 15x to the fourth minus 8x plus 1. And oops, this should be 8x cubed. x to the fourth, bring down the 4, that becomes a cube. So this is the, the finished uh, chain rule derivative here. You could go ahead and simplify it, multiplying some stuff out maybe. I mean, there's not too much you can do here. But usually it's fine to just leave things like this. So just to summarize, we took the derivative of the outside function. That was the square root. So you take the derivative of a square root, you bring down a half, leave the inside the same, change this to a negative one half, and then multiply it by the derivative of the inside function. That's the derivative of this polynomial right here.